materials you will need for this lesson are some of your collected items of waste materials from around the home. They don't have to be the same as this. I've got two plastic bags that I'm going to use for some of my colour in my collage. I've got some scraps of crepe paper and also some offcuts of material. So if you have an old piece of fabric at home, you can cut that up to match the colour in your square. Now this is actually um, printed off from Firefly, but if you don't have a printer and you want to save ink, you do not have to print it. I'm just printing it off from the ease of my activity here, but for you guys, if you prefer, you can work directly from the screen. Today I'm going to focus on the square number 7, and I'm going to replicate the shapes and the colours that we see in this square. So you're going to need scissors, you're going to need some white or liquid glue if you have some at home, a water pot, paint here. Now the paint we will need to apply the first underpainting, okay, the first layer. So we've got our primary colours here and then black and white, um, some paint brushes, a pencil and an A4 sheet of paper. Now we're going to start with the folding technique. At the moment we have a rectangle, but you can see the grid is a square shape. So we're going to fold this A4 sheet of paper to make a square shape. So the first thing we're going to do is take the top corner here, pull it down so that it aligns with that bottom edge of our paper. And then just press along that line going to cut with a pair of scissors along this rectangle here. And once you open it out, there you have a perfect square. For the purpose of focusing on that square and helping us, we're going to create a little viewfinder. I'm just going to use some masking tape actually, this white one, to just around the outside of the square so that our eye can focus more on the details. Okay, so I've split up my square drawing with a pencil and a ruler just to make it easier to identify the shapes within that. Once you've drawn and sectioned off your four little grids there, you're going to then draw in the shapes that you see within your specific number square. Remember, it is not this specific one that you will be doing. It is up to the teacher to assign your name with a number on this grid that you will find on Firefly. Once you're happy with your shape outlines, then it's time to just erase those ruler lines that we don't need anymore, only keeping the outlines of the shapes and make sure that you've done your best at trying to keep them in proportion with each other. When the pencil drawing is complete then you can go in with the paint colours which we call an underpainting. In this regard we are just painting in the block colours that you see on your square until they pretty much match what you see in front of you. Once that's dry, then you can go in with your 3D collage materials. Here you can see I have cut up a shopping bag because it made the perfect sort of texture um, and the colour was really good as well. So it's well worth checking the colours of plastic bags that you may have lying around at home. And you want to also apply liberally your white glue. Important to note that the white glue does dry clear, so it will give your painting a nice glossy finish. So do not worry about um, it being a little bit messy to begin with because when it dries, it dries clear. So as you can see, I'm just placing down and overlapping the colours um, of the plastic bag where I think they will work best.
Try to use a variety of different materials, waste materials that you find at home. Um, if you don't have anything specific that you can think of, try to be creative. It could be an old shoelace, it could be a piece of old fabric that you don't need anymore. Colours can be found everywhere in different waste materials, even old magazines and newspapers. So really try your best at trying to colour match and get that collage as textured and as interesting as possible.